What's up, YouTube? This is Super Secret Gaming here, and if you notice, this is not the city. This is a mod review island that my friend has made, and today we are going to be doing the sink mod. And that friend, um, I I'm sorry, I'm not mentioning your mentioning your name. Uh, it's be, and not giving you any credit, it's because you don't have a YouTube channel yet, which we're, we're still working on. You don't have a YouTube channel yet, so I don't want to give people false names. So that's the reason why. And yeah, I think we should get on with it. Alright, so to the sync mod lets you clone yourself, and then you can step in into your clone and it'll let you do a whole bunch of awesome stuff. One sec, I gotta get a drink. <sighs> Alright. So, before you do anything, whoa, that was rude, you are going to need the sink core. It is crafted like so with daylight dispensers. Daylight sensors. Yeah, I guess it's more useful like that. Daylight sensors. And if you prefer, let me just take away that. If you prefer, here's the crafting recipe here. Okay. And then, after you did the sink core, what is wrong with. Um, okay, that was weird. I also, I also don't know why there's these ladders here. They're causing me to glitch every time I walk through them, and now they're invisible. Oh, eh. Okay. Um, yeah. So after you do the sync core, you're going to need a way of powering your sync machine. So then you need to make a treadmill powered made like so and then with the treadmill you can either put a pig or a wolf on the wolf does not have to be um the wolf can be hostile or it can be whatever you want it just has to be pig or wolf so i have 64 spawn eggs and a lead you're going to need a lead in order to um what do you call it? in order to get the pig or wolf over onto the treadmill and then once you have all the means of power and the core you are going to need the chamber I think is what it's called a ah, shell constructor and the shell constructor is where the body thing will go inside so this is how it's crafted this is how it's also crafted Moving on. Then, after the shell constructor, you're going to need the shell storage. This is how it's crafted. This is how it's crafted. Boom. Alright. So, these are piggies I've already put on. They're called pig slaves. And if we punch him off and destroy the treadmill he is no longer our pig slave and he is running away so we can now just think nope we gotta fly up here put that there so the treadmill is here spawn in a pig grab a lead whoops sorry about that if you heard anything and then we just gotta drag him over onto the drum. Hey, buddy, buddy, buddy. Hey, hey, dude, dude. Yes, yes. You're going to be my slave. What is? Ugh. Okay, something is seriously wrong with Minecraft. I am going to have a serious word with whoever made this game. No. God dang it! I'm gonna vlog 
Uh, one second, guys. Alright, guys, we are back. Hopefully the problem is fixed. Um, I heard a zombie. So, I'm gonna go in peaceful mode. Mm-hmm. Okay. And... Here we go. Why aren't you going... I thought all I had to do was put you... Do I have to say right click? Oh, okay. And then, I guess when my uh, buddy set this up for me, he named them all pig slaves. Except for this one, because he's new, but... Now you know, that's how you did him on. You did a lead, and then just fight what? So, a little bit ago, I, before this, I made my um, shell. So, yes. Uh, the basic way, what I think you do is you just right click it, and then it will begin construction. What was this? Shell constructor? Okay, if we just destroy this, I will actually show you. So, what you do? So you right click it, and then you see little pixels are being made, and these pids are powering it. The more, it doesn't matter what you have, pids or wolves, so they all do the same speed. If you have one pid, it'll do it really slow. Two, twice as fast. Three, three times as fast. And now it's making my shell, and as you can see, there's no color. That's because it does the that's just like after it's done building it just breaks off and like the shell just breaks off and then there's all color so we can go into our shell constructor uh oh no not shell constructor shell chamber maybe shell storage and so basically i just walked into here and I can see it's 20% done. Um, so I'm gonna have to actually cut until uh, it's ready. But if we we can just walk into the a Nether, and we can also and we can notice there's a shell in here. So then we can teleport into him. So what it does is it just zooms you out and then zooms you right back in and kind of like you're flying and then now here I am and the doors they closed. So this shell this has become a shell storage. Uh, no, it's already been a shell storage. So right now he's just sitting there in a the shell storage. Um, and if I right click in here, it's building a new one, but we don't want that. Alright, so... Yeah, so, if you're in creative mode and you make a shell, you will, your shell will be in creative. So, here we can just step into here, go into the nether. And then this is a way that you can travel from the over it glitches because of the bedrock border. This is the easiest way that you can. Uh oh, oh man. The easiest way that you can travel from the uh, Nether to the Overworld. Nether, perfect. And then wait. Cancel. There. So. Oh yeah, we can also walk into here, and a bull. Yeah, see, even though the tits freeze when you are inside the um, the tits in the overworld. One minute, please. Will freeze if you are in the Nether. Even though that like nothing loads in the overworld when you're in the Nether, the mod creator saw that and he made it so. Even though I'm in the nether, the uh, shell in the overworld is still being created. So that is something pretty handy. While your shell is being created, you can, do, you can go do some other neat stuff. Alright, let's go back the red way. Alright. 
Yes, see? Now it's going on to my arms and my head. And it still has absolutely no color, but, you know, the, um, who's he, what's it, stuff. The shell will just break off and then there will be color. Oh, yeah, so, one of these is survival. You might be survival. I, I don't know. What's that? I'm gonna do a shell storage. Oh, I can't use it. Okay. Yeah, there's a little, oh, uh, there's a little red light, and if that is off, oh, it needs to be powered by redstone. Oh, well. Oh, yes, this, is also, this will also save your inventory. So, that is a pretty cool feature, so, if you have, like, 19 diamonds, and then you don't want to bring that home, it won't work. I'm sorry. See? And then it's just slowly deteriorating do 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 ba bow and now I have easy way of yeah so that's all of, that's just about it things to be careful of make sure that it that you're not just using it to um that you have to be using it to go from one place to another you can't make you can't um take your inventory with you if you are in survival and you made a shell, that shell is a survival mode shell, just like with creative. That that's just a clock my friend made, uh, a timer thing my friend made to make it day. All right. Anyway, so your game mode stays with you when you cross between shells. You can go to the Nether. A shell will continue being made even when you're in the nether or the overworld opposite dimension um hmm what else yeah that's just about it like so that's just about it wow that was actually really easy i thought this was gonna be a complicated thing so i hope you guys enjoyed watching um please leave a like and a comment if you did if you didn't then Go die. Um, bye.